Ambassador Grignon, you have the floor. We tried to ensure as much as possible, even with our diverse uh, interests and also diverse opinions that we accommodated each other and we worked in collaboration in exhibited, exhibiting a lot of professionalism. And therefore, I, I know I'm not sure if I can make a statement, but I want with regard to something else, but I will probably seek the, okay. <laughs> Three days ago, I was subjected to cyber bullying and also telephone bullying. I got almost a thousand messages on my telephone, <clears throat> uh, uh, my telephone, uh, and I also got um, a special blog established for me with a petition against me and the work that I was doing, especially uh, because of the position that I held of being the vice chair of CSW representing the African group and also being the facilitator of the agreed conclusion. Madam Chair, I just wanted to note that uh, I, I felt supported, but I also felt scared. And I think it is important for the United Nations to consider I, let me say that I, I was going to say to consider this paragraph, but uh, <laughs> so sorry. Um, it is unacceptable. <clears throat> that uh, a member state should be harassed and feel fear when taking leadership positions at the United Nations. I think we must be able to feel that the UN is a safe place where when we are called upon to serve in whatever capacity, we can be able to do so without fear. And I, I must say that I was very shocked that this kind of thing can be allowed to happen at the United Nations. And I certainly don't hope that it will happen to anyone else. <clears throat> I certainly believe that this, we have to also have a framework of collaboration with our partners who are non-state actors. I didn't feel safe walking around. I mean, I wasn't accosted by anyone, but I felt pushed around by people who didn't believe that I had uh, their interests at heart. And whatever differences and divergent views that we hold as member states, that's why we work in a multilateral setting as 193 countries, that we can hold different opinions but be able to find consensus between what brings us close to each other and what divides us, and we celebrate our diversity in the differences that we hold. And I felt very safe at the UN until I had this questioning. And I think much of, <clears throat> thank you, thank you very much. I think much of this is because I haven't slept for a long time, you understand? <laughs> but to conclude, Madam Chair, <clears throat> I know it's late, so I will reserve any further comment on this. And I want to lastly say that I wish to greatly appreciate uh, the members of the Secretariat of UN Women and CSW that I worked with, they have been fabulous. And also I want... <laughs> I want to thank Madam Chair. I, 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 can, I can't remember in any situation I have seen uh, a, 
a big sister, an elder sister, <clears throat> a senior sister, hung around me so closely that I began to wonder <laughs> if... <laughs> Let me just say I want to thank you for your cooperation, support, solidarity, and looking out uh, for me and also the members of the Bureau for the support that I got. I, I, I must also say that I really appreciate, um, if you allow me, the DPRs. I feel like I'm receiving an Oscar. So you must... <laughs> I, must I must appreciate... Uh, the club of DPRs, I cannot tell you how supportive that group has been, and I really want you to give them an applause. Uh, I want to thank Ambassador Grignon for her, for her statement, and uh, I'll find an opportunity to to thank her myself and my remarks before we finish this evening. Thank you very much indeed, dear Cookie.